Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. Today we'll be going over a number of cool production processes and covering what they make. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more like it. First up, we have the JLOR 51250 HD. It is an industrial ration mixer that can mix and transport over 1,000 cubic feet of total mixed ration. The machine features a sturdy walking tandem, twin tires, and optional hydraulic or pneumatic brakes, making it easy to tow and maneuver. It can easily deal with heavy feedlot rations. It is available with slide plate augers, which are suitable for speedy, low horsepower forage processing. Moreover, augers with angled blades can be used to mix larger quantities of rations. The AM4600 LPC is up next. It is a 10-foot wide snowplow blade that is built explicitly for snowplow operations on highways. Due to its thick polyethylene wing, no snow adheres anywhere on the plow during operations. This is because polyethylene is resistant to aggressive saline environments and prevents snow from sticking to its polished surface from the inner side of the wing. The snowplow can also deal with wet snow and slush. The wing steel edges are quite capable of cutting through snowbanks. Next, we have the Super Sucker HydroVac. It is used for concrete coring, a process in which cylinders of concrete form are cut and removed from the rest of the structure. It is ideal for daylighting, water and gas line installation, as well as potholing, sacrificial anode installation, cutting pole holes and sidewalks, and many more applications. After the completion of the operation, the hole is correctly backfilled and compacted using a compound bond. This process is known as reinstating. With this machine, the whole procedure of cutting, removing, maintaining, and reinstating takes less than 30 minutes. Up next, we have the EHU200 from Eckler Hartstall. This is a customized mining machine used in underground mining applications. The machine's low structure keeps it under 2.7 meters tall. It has a Z kinematic mining boom that is integrated with a 340 liter stainless steel water tank for dust suppression. Additional LED work lights are installed around the machine for visibility. To accommodate varying ceiling heights, the lift cylinders are equipped with an adjustable shutoff device. The machine has a central system for lubrication, an external cabin filter, and a unit for extinguishing fires. From Eckelhart stall yet again, we have the EHF 250 Turbo. It's a three-axle, six-wheel machine designed for forestry applications. It is one of the most powerful forestry excavators on the market, boasting a 250 horsepower Cummins engine. The EHF 250 can easily traverse difficult terrain due to its specialized force tires and steering system. Its cab meets ROPF standards, which are meant to protect the driver in case the vehicle rolls over. With its long boom and powerful cutting head, any size of timber can be efficiently processed.
Up next, we have the FAE 200 SC. It is a new hydraulic stump cutter designed for high horsepower carriers. It boasts a strong disc rotor layout with extra support blades for simple stump and root removal up to 50 centimeters deep. A VT hydraulic motor with a double relief block and anti-cavitation valves protects the hydraulic system and improves performance and power management. With the machine's hydraulic and proportional swing controls, heavy materials can be ground by moving the cutter back and forth. Next is the SFH, a heavy-duty blade attachment manufactured by the Italian company FAE Group. It is used on tractors with up to 500 horsepower and serves as a stone crusher, forest tiller, and mulcher. The transmission with side gearboxes transforms engine power into velocity and torque. This attachment unit can grind trees with a maximum diameter of 45 centimeters, crush stones with a maximum diameter of 35 centimeters, and run at a depth of 40 centimeters underground. Multiple tooth variations and an industry-leading rotor design are available, making it suitable for a variety of specific applications. Next, we have the Smithco Mine Trailer. It is a side dump trailer that can carry up to 80 tons of material for the mining and quarrying industries. It has stable suspension, long haul mine rated tires, and a heavy duty frame that can withstand loading and unloading procedures. Hydraulic suspension, which is optional, provides a more stable ride, reduces maintenance, and eliminates freeze ups. Optional linings are available for this trailer to reduce carryback and facilitate the clean injection of materials. Next, we have the Toro LH307 from Sandvik. It is a 7-ton payload capacity wheel loader designed for underground mining. It features a 3 cubic meter bucket integrated with a weighing system that measures the payload as well as the number of buckets filled during the shift and records the results. This system helps operators achieve maximum productivity by optimizing loads, reducing overloading, and identifying training requirements. The traction control system reduces the possibility of wheel slippage when entering the muck pile and filling the bucket. This improves tire durability and reduces rough waste. Last but not least, we have the pipe and cable plow system from Frank Fokuschberg. This system is ideal for installing pipes in rural areas, particularly when long installation lengths are required and it is compatible with every type of pipe and cable. The machine's plow arms can be adjusted to any angle, making it ideal for laying pipe on inclines. Shorter sections and pipelines through rough to run terrain can also be plowed in quickly. This system has installed over 80,000 kilometers of pipe in Germany and abroad. It is a cost-effective option, even for installations beneath the groundwater level.
Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you check out one of these two for more cool machinery. Feel free to like and subscribe, we always appreciate it. And with that, we'll see you next time.